Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It's exam time at King Faisal University and one of the policies followed by many colleges in our university is to award one or two various marks to all the students for the next letter grade. Of course you can do it manually but it is prone to mistakes and it is a time consuming task. So I have created a little template in Microsoft Excel to help you to do this task automatically for you. You can download this file from the link provided in the description of this video and this is the first sheet that you will see when you open this file. As some instructors prefer to add the grace marks to pre-final and the others prefer to add them in the final marks. So you need to make a choice whether you would like to add these grace marks to pre-final or final marks. Assume I have selected pre-final. Now here you can see student ID, name, pre-final and final marks. These are the four columns that you need to fill in for, for your result. Total marks will be calculated by adding pre-final and final marks. The letter grade, grace marks will automatically appear over here. The new final marks, new pre-final by adding these grace marks to the pre-final marks. And now new total and new letter grade. So this grade should be one higher than the grade over here. Here you can see a count of all the students achieving certain grades and below this you will see a column chart to summarize this result statistics. Similarly, if you had selected to add these grace marks to the final, then, then you can see over here new final marks are calculated by adding grace marks to the final marks. Let's see how it works. So of course you will have some result before this. So assume this uh, hypothetical result. I just copy the student information into this sheet and these pre-final marks probably you'll be using some formula to calculate these pre-final marks like adding all the components of the uh, course quizzes, homeworks, midterm etc. So you should use paste values from here okay? because if the formula is used you have to use paste values to paste only values from there. Now here you can add the new the final marks once you are done with the marking of exam papers uh, or for demonstration purpose I have created a fake result uh, copy paste it over here but in your exam you can directly enter it enter the marks over here now let's see what is going on over here here you can see this student needs five marks to, to pass so the stu failing students are highlighted as red and the marks they need for passing they appear over here like this guy needs 5 marks to pass so grace marks is 5 and new pre-final marks are 35 this 30 and 5 are added to make it 35 and the new total marks are 60 and his letter grade is 60 uh, uh, his letter grade is D Similarly here, this guy has 24 marks in final and the total is 74, he is getting C but if you give him one more mark, he will get C plus grade. So we add one mark to the pre-final which is 50 to make it 55. Similarly over here, this guy needs 3, this guy needs 2 for passing, they are highlighted as red. The students who, who need 2 marks for the next letter grade, they are highlighted as yellow. So here this guy needs 2 marks. To move from B plus to A and this one needs two marks to move from A to A plus and so on and so forth and here you can see we have a total of 11 students and this is the distribution of grades and below this you can see the chart is also automatically populated um, if you move to the right side of this sheet you will see a control panel uh, well, from here you can control the settings of this sheet. Uh, like some instructors, they might not prefer to add two marks to, they might not prefer to give two grace marks to all the students. So, if you want to avoid that, you just simply select it and delete. So, now you can see here we have two students getting two marks for the next letter grade. But if I delete these from here, now they remain the same. They are not getting improvement. You can see 
88 remains 88 and 93 remains 93. Similarly, if for example you do not want to award 5 marks to the students or 4, you set the threshold as 3, you can delete 55 and 56 from here. Like here you can see the student at 55 he is getting 5 marks and over here this guy is getting 4 grace marks. So if I delete them from here, now you see they are failing. So that's all. Uh, one last thing, all these columns are locked to minimize the chances of mistake. You cannot enter any data in these columns, you see, so that you do not make any mistakes accidentally. But if you want to customize this sheet exactly according to your requirements, then you can unlock this sheet. The password is CC. SIT. So you just go to uh, review, unprotect sheet, and enter CCSIT, and now you should be able you should be able to make changes directly in these cells as well. Okay, please let me know if you have any comments or if you you need explanation for anything further. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.